Hey Scorpios, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm here to do you versus them this week. Okay. What's going on with you and your person? Energies, please. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Oh, we have a Queen of Pentacles. Okay. I'll put that for the mutual energy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo for some of you. For the mutual, okay. And then how is Scorpio feeling about this person? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. How is Scorpio feeling about this person? The star card. Okay, mm, could be dealing with an Aquarius for some of you. And how do they feel about you, Scorpio? The hard font. Mm, some of you dealing with the Taurus. Okay. And what's the potential outcome for this week? Knight of Wands. Ooh, <laughs> okay. Your energy at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio. Mm. Ooh, King and Queen of Pentacles, page of one. Who? Okay. Okay. Okay, we have the Five of Cups back here, the Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. It seems like some of you may be coming out of something that was sad or uh, feeling like alone or left out in the cold. This could also be this person who has come out of something, Okay. Something was sad in the past, missed an opportunity, someone feels that way. But now you could be meeting someone new or some of you are talking to someone new with this page of wands energy. You could be excited over someone, okay? Hmm. Let's get into it for Scorpios. What is this queen of pentacles for the mutual for Scorpios? Devil energy could definitely be a Capricorn for some of you. We have Cap. Taurus, the only one we're missing is Virgo for earth signs. And then we also have Aquarius. Okay. We do have fire sign energy. Okay. What's this mutual energy for Scorpios and their person? Lovers. Whoa. All these major arcanas coming out. This is a big shift for you. Mm, love, passion. What in the world? <laughs> Chariot could be a cancer again. Major Arcanas coming out. Something is taking off, Scorpios. This looks really, really good. For some of you, you are just enjoying your connection with someone. You're enjoying your relationship with someone for a lot of you. Something is moving forward. What is this? Ooh. <laughs> okay. Four of Wands. Okay. Things are looking good. Ooh, okay. This is this is good, Scorpios. Okay, let me keep going. How are you feeling <laughs> about okay? Look what came out. King of Cups. That's your energy. I was about to say, how are you feeling about your person? Love, love feelings. Who is staring your emotions? You are very hopeful about somebody. You have hope that this could go far or this could turn into a marriage, a relationship, a partnership, maybe even sharing uh, your home with someone, someone sharing their home with you with the four of wands energy. Seven of cups. How else is Scorpio feeling about this person? Nine of wands. <clears throat> Are you willing to give up your options for this person? Woo. Uh-oh. <laughs> Someone may have you thinking, I, I might could. I might could give up my other options to be with this person. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Seven of Cups. Yeah, you have clarity, truth. Okay. Ace of Swords. Whoa. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Okay. I don't know who this person is, Scorpio, but you are... <clears throat> Where once you may have had a lot of options or you may have been dating online or looking at, you know, who your people are, who you could connect with. But someone here has stirred you and you are thinking about the future here with the Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Some of you could be thinking of investing in a home with this person. Like, could I actually be with this person like long term? Okay. Let's see how they're feeling with the heart font. How's this person feeling toward Scorpio? Two of cups. Okay. 
Ten of Swords. <clears throat> Ace of Cups. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So for some of you, this person, things could have ended with someone. Like I said, they could have been going through an ending or they could be going through some type of ending here with that Ten of Swords energy. For some of you, you've already gone through an ending with someone <clears throat> and this is a brand new start for the two of you, okay? If there was some type of, and I, I just heard misunderstanding. So if there's been some type of like non-communication, misunderstanding between you and another person with this Ten of Swords energy, I feel like something is coming out of this that could turn into a brand new opportunity for the two of you. For others of you, I'm feeling like after you have let go of a person who uh, you were married to, if you were married to someone and things did not work out, I feel like you are about to meet someone brand new or some of you have already met someone brand new. You're, you're dating someone. Someone has caught your attention <clears throat> and you're feeling really good about it. You're feeling very optimistic. <clears throat> okay. Let me uh, drink some tea, y'all. It's early in the morning here. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> yeah. For others of you, I'm also feeling this energy of someone does not want this to end with you. If that could be a fear that they have, a fear of getting hurt or betrayed, because they see you as the two of cups. That's how they're feeling about you. Marriage potential, long-term uh, connection here with the Harfont. Someone who could be very serious about you. Like I said, it could be a Taurus. But with that Ten of Swords, someone may be afraid to get hurt here. Ace of Cups. Feeling all of this love, but they may be unsure. Okay? Two of Pentacles. It does not feel bad. It feels like this person could be questioning, is Scorpio going to hurt me? Because I am feeling very vulnerable. You know that song, uh, You Can Do Damage by Her? H-E-R, that's kind of the energy that I'm getting. Like this person may feel like I'm so vulnerable to Scorpio right now. They could really hurt me. So two of pentacles, will Scorpio hurt me? Will this be a, a new beginning? Because I'm feeling it, okay? Four of cups, this person could be afraid of rejection here. Queen of cups. <laughs> They're afraid to get hurt by you. King and queen of cups. Wow. Water sign energy coming through. Okay. Let's keep going. Potential outcome for this week. Potential outcome for this week. Eight of Cups. The Justice card. Libra's energy is here. And the Death card. Woo. Woo. I'm telling you, Scorpios, if you have moved on from a person in your recent past, maybe within like the last few months, the last year to two years, if you've moved on from someone, I'm telling you, you have something that will come in that's very passionate, okay? A lot of you, I feel the energy of some of you still going through a divorce, but you've met someone brand new while you're going through a divorce, Woo, okay. <laughs> the wheel is turning in your favor. Things are changing. You could be going through a lot of changes in your love life right now. And I'm feeling like a changing of the guard. So where it didn't work out with one person, you have someone here that I see you are very happy with. Who are you happy with? Who is this person <laughs> in this mutual energy? Who is this person? Four of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and Page of Wands. That's what I'm feeling. You may have held back for a long time or something was holding you back. Four of Pentacles, and you've released yourself from that. And you're excited about something. Page of Wands, you could be talking to someone new. It could just be in the talking stages, but Spirit is showing me what the potential is. Okay? Some of you have ended it with someone. I do see a major ending 
Uh-huh. You could have walked away from someone. Show me this person's intentions for Scorpio. Six of Cups, okay. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, and the Nine of Cups. They have this connection with you, that past life soulmate energy with the Six of Cups. With Temperance, it's like, oh, let me take my time because, man, I really desire this. I want this to work out. So that's their intentions with you. They feel that connection with you. They want this with you. They plan. Oh, uh oh, <laughs> all the cards flew. But eight of pentacles was at the bottom of the deck. They plan to work on things with you. Like, let's work it out. Let's talk about what we need to do to move this forward. Really excited about you. What's Scorpio's intentions with this person? The sun. Okay. Judgment. And the strength card. Mm, okay. <laughs> it's like, I don't know where it will lead, but I'm happy to work on this. I'm happy to be with this person. You're making a final judgment call. You're being very brave. So that's what I feel like you, you feel empowered by somebody. Someone like empowers you and you feel good about this connection. Okay. Yeah, see. Woo. Mm. I decided to look at the back. Moon with the queen of wands. Someone is lighting your fire here. Four of swords. You've kept it to yourself. Yeah, you've been very quiet about this connection. You haven't shared it with a lot of people, but you feel it with this person and they feel it with you. Okay, let's see. Let me come to this deck. What's the advice for Scorpios? Advice for Scorpios, then we'll get advice for the cross watcher dealing with the Scorpio. Advice for Scorpios, flirt. Okay. <laughs> Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So like I said, you could be very excited. That's that page of wands energy. Could be very excited about talking to someone new, starting something new with someone. Okay. And advice for the cross watcher, the person dealing with the Scorpio, release your ex. See, this is what I'm saying, Scorpios. I feel like your person has been through a lot and they're releasing something. They could have just went through a major ending in their life as well. Okay. And now the two of you get to be together. Or this is what it's leading to. I see a, a, a build up here. It's progression. And you, like I said, you could just be getting to know this person. And really learning them. And, you know, learning their in and out. Some of you could have just moved in with someone as well. Is what I'm feeling. Release your ex is what this, um, what spirit is giving you cross watch you're dealing with the Scorpio, um, for your advice. So that it says the time has come to clear your energy. So you need to clear your energy from anything that could be hindering you from moving forward with Scorpio. If you are dealing with the Scorpio and I feel also that once you release whatever, and it doesn't mean that you're still in love with your ex cross watcher, it doesn't mean that, but it's like once you release any attachments to your past, you'll be able to have a successful start with Scorpio. And I feel like it's going to lead to something great. Okay. <laughs> it's going to lead to something great. Some of you are getting justice. Let me get back on Scorpio. Scorpio, some of you are getting justice because you decided to walk away from something that wasn't working out, okay? Romantic feelings are here. Love is in the air. Romantic feelings are here. And it's something to pay attention to. Advice for Scorpios. Let's come to this deck. It says unlikely, okay? We have a year from now. And it's up to you. Absolutely. So whatever was unlikely in the past, whatever you thought... Maybe I can't start over. Maybe I can't do this. Maybe you thought it wasn't going to happen with this other person because they were still tied up in another connection, still dealing with a karmic or dealing with an ex, baby mama, baby daddy, dealing with an ex-husband, wife. Some of you may be married in a year from now. Some of you, you may be married next year. Look out. <laughs> it's up to you. It's up to you if you want that in your life. Okay. Okay. We have perfect timing at the bottom of the deck. Something happening in perfect timing. 
Alrighty, Scorpios, that is your energy. I hope you enjoyed your video. I hope it resonated with you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I would love to have you join the family, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.